Hi, so we have seen multiple things till now and rest of the pages that we have will be easily built by the things that we have learned so far. What we have not seen is to how to create this kind of structure. So create this kind of structure or to create this kind of structure we will need table. So this looks like a typical table and obviously we can create that using HTML. So if we have to create a table, what are the HTML tags we are going to need? Let's go ahead and see that. So we are going to need the table tag t head, tr, th, td, tbody and tfoot. Let's just go ahead and see how these tags will help you create a table in HTML. Okay, so let's go ahead. So here what I'll do is that I'll create a table just after this particular statement. Okay. So to create a table, the first thing we will need is a table tag. All the content in table will be inside this table tag. Okay. First, we have to create the topmost row. So this horizontal line is the row and vertical line is the column. Okay. So the topmost we have to create is row. So generally what happens is that the topmost row of the table is the heading. So we keep certain headings in that. So for that, we will have the T head. T head tags means that whatever content is coming inside is the heading of the table. Just like we have head and body in case of HTML. So here what we have first we have a blank cell. This individual items are called cells. Okay. So now for that I'll do TH. Okay. And I'll keep it blank. So this TH stands for table header. Okay. Now what I'll do is that I'll go ahead and add this 2 by 3 map. So for that again I'll have TH. I'll write 2 by 3 map okay I'll copy this and we'll have 3 by 3 map and we'll have 3 by 4 map okay so now this complete thing contributes to the heading that we have in the table now we will go ahead and create the body so let's say for that we will use T body inside the T body first we have to create the row so we create the every row one by one so our first row is the row with method 160 ms 940 ms so let's just go ahead and create that so for here for body for defining individual cells we use td tag okay we use th only for heading then we use td tag okay now in td tag i'll go ahead with method one that is written out here then i'll write all the time that we have So we will go ahead and write the code for this 60530 okay and we have one minute written over here okay now what I'll do is that this is my first row okay I missed to write TR over here so first we have to write TR and inside this table row we will have these complete TDs and this tells us that okay this is the table row and everything that is inside corresponds to one row so if we have to go ahead and create another row in that case we will have another tr tag so for that i'll have tr again and inside this we will have another row that is out here so for that i'll keep it method 2 and i simply have to do it 0 0 0 okay Let's go ahead and see how does this look. So we have this table over here. What I'll do is that I'll add one horizontal line over here on the top. We will see what's horizontal line. Okay, for now, let's just put it over here. So horizontal line just adds one horizontal line and this is a self closing tag okay we use this to add just one horizontal line we can control its size so for controlling its size I'll just do let's say size equal to 4 so you will see the size increases so what happens in this case is that this is having a kind of structure 
in which we are not able to see the perfect size so you can style HR further using CSS so we will see that in the upcoming videos for now just understand that it is adding one line over here okay so now what happens is that we have this table all the content that is out there you can see that it is in tabular format okay but what happens is that this is not looking exactly like this so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some attributes but most of these attributes are deprecated and it is highly suggested that you style the table further add the borders or background using CSS but just to give you a feel of a table like this I'll add some of the attributes so the very first thing that we see missing over here is a border so I'll go ahead and add border so I'll do border equal to 1 px so now if you guys see we get a border exactly like this so next thing you can control is the alignment so alignment of the table so let's say if I do align center the complete table will come in the center okay now let's see what happens over here is that this particular thing is towards the left okay I can control the alignment of this also I can make it left right as per the convenience so what I'll do is that I'll make T body align equal to center So it will align all the elements inside the T body to the center. Okay. So now uh, next what I'll do is that I'll add some background color. So what happens is that if I add the background color over here using BG color attribute, let's say I keep, uh, I take a random color for now. So we have to put a hex code over here. So this is the hex code. So if you see it is coloring the complete table. But I don't want the complete table to be colored. I want certain cells to be colored. So what I'll do is that maybe I'll go ahead and put it in the T head. So if I put it in the T head, only the table heading will be colored. But again, I don't want this to be colored. So what I can do is that for this, I can add the BG color white. So I'll go here and I'll put BG color and I'll put it white okay so we have two options over here that so I either go ahead and add colors to the individual cells or what I do is that I add color to the entire row and make this particular thing white okay the other things that we guys can add is cell spacing on cell padding so I'll, we will only see cell spacing and cell padding and uh, so let's go ahead and see cell spacing and cell padding so let's say I do cell padding equal to 25 that's too much 10 px so this will add padding to these two individual cells padding means that we have this particular content what is the distance between this border and this particular content so it's going to be 10 px from all the ends another thing that we have is cell spacing so cell spacing is the spacing between two individual cells so let's say I make this 10 px so if you see the spacing between the cells have increased so I'll reduce it to 5 px okay so this is how it is going to be now uh, another thing that we also have is to control the width of the table so for that we will simply use width okay let's say I use width and let's say I make it like 500 px or 550 px okay so the width of the table gets increased and let me tell you each and everything that we have used here has an alternative in CSS and I will highly suggest that whenever you learn CSS you see the properties you have border property you have background color property uh, you can do this using margin left right auto you can change the cell padding using padding you can change the cell spacing by using margin so you can do everything by the properties that we have in CSS so whenever you create a table I highly suggest that you go ahead and use those properties another thing that we will see here is that many times the table is not only used to create a table like structure it is also used to give the uh, you know give the elements a definite structure maybe if you want to have an image over here and you want to have some text over here so this you guys can do using the table so inside the table you will let's say you put an image over here and here you have the text so you guys can simply use the table structure to align the items uh, in a particular fashion so that's that's going to be really helpful okay so we will go ahead and see one more property in table which is footer 
So let's say in this case, we are not adding the numbers. So let's say you have something like in which you are keeping the numbers and then at the end you add the numbers. So maybe you have something like total and then you have elements. So that is called footer. So the major reason we are dividing this header, body and footer is that so that first of all the structure is clean secondly if you have to apply any styling specifically to header or to body or to footer you can do that so let's say for the footer we will have t foot okay inside this i'll have a row inside this we will have the values so for values i'll put um, so in this case again many times what will happen is that the topmost row or the heading row and footer have the same style so in that case you can use th else you can use td over here so let's say i make it total and then i have td and i give it like some random values 1 ms okay so now you can see you have total at the bottom you can go ahead and apply any sort of styling you want so generally this is like the final statement that you want to see at the bottom okay so this is how you are going to work around with tables and another thing that we will see over here is the merging of the cells so now let's say what if i don't want three different cells in the heading i want one cell that gives me a particular heading so in that case i'll remove these two okay and i'll do th call span equal to 3 so now if you see what will happen is that call span means column span it will occupy three cells in the horizontal direction okay so let's say this the same can be done over here and the value you can have any sort of value so let's say here I'm having value 3 let's say I make it 2 okay in this case it is only occupying two cells and the third cell is completely empty the same thing can be done vertically as well for that you'll have to use row span so let's say i want to combine this method one and method two cell so what i'll do is that i'll go ahead and let's say i'll make it call span row span equal to two okay i'll then remove this So now if you see what has happened, method 1 has occupied two cells vertically. So call span occupies cells horizontally and row span occupies it vertically. So these are some of the features of the table that you can use and you can use it several places. So whenever we will go ahead and we will read about CSS, we will see the alternatives that we have for table. But for now, make sure you practice this and you create a table on your own as well.